Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And t-shirts came in. Here's what it looks like. Beautiful. I got one in black as well, coming in soon. That is what the channel t-shirts look like. If you want one, it's in the description below. And also visit our new website. Anyway, today we're actually talking about a uh, tweet that somebody had put out not too long ago. Um, the person who put it out, his name is Will Evans, and he talks about um, black culture and hip-hop, right? So the question is actually, uh, it's more of a statement, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it, see what you thought, get your perspective on it. Doesn't matter what color you are, white, black, whatever. This is an open forum, open for discussion. Let's talk about it. So what he says is, blacks should ban negative music starting today. If a person ain't talented enough to make a hit without talking about killing, hitting licks, hoes, and nonsense, then he or she shouldn't be allowed to participate in this culture. Wow. Okay. This is a pretty heavy statement for someone to make. Um, so let's go ahead and break it down real quick. So he says blacks should ban negative music starting today. Blacks, as in the entire culture, the entire uh, race of black people should ban negative music. Okay. Now, he quantified what negative music is, right? So let's talk about that. The qualification for negative music is people talking about killing, hitting licks, or doing drugs, hoes, and nonsense. Um, so what I would want first is to set the parameters of what we're talking about, right? We need to talk about what is nonsense? Is it just hoes and money and drugs? Is that it? Because I've heard a lot of hip hop, hip hop music, um, and I've heard some people consider some subject matter to be nonsense. For example, people have talked about you know rolling around the hood, getting shot at, going to their grandmama house, hiding out, stuff like that. Right? <clears throat> Here's my biggest thing. I disagree with this sentiment. I think that a lot of times people associate hip hop music's negativity with uh, a bad light on black culture in general. I know a lot of black people, especially older black people, feel like hip hop is a bad light on us as a culture. So they want it to go away uh, and they only want to hear positive music and all that stuff. I disagree with that because to only have positive music and to only have positive art, it's impossible because who is deciding what is positive and what is negative, right? Who is the god of this decision? Who is the dictator? Who is the governor of what is negative and what is positive, right? Because if you can't define who's going to be telling us and giving us this framework, then it's not going to work. Because you can't set a boundary like this and say no more negative music in black culture, period. Let's not, no more. I don't want to hear it. Okay, but the song that I made is talking about the abuse I witnessed as a child and how I got out of it. Huh. Okay, well, okay, that's not negative per se. Okay, we can add that. Uh, okay, well, my song is about drug use, but it's talking about the experience that I saw as a kid and how it shaped me to be who I am today. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's not, see, eventually you, you're, it's too broad, Right? So using the word negative is too broad of a spectrum and it's impossible to police what is negative or what is positive. And I think that's where we're at right now with this subject. So I will go as far to say I disagree. Um, I think negative music, negative, and let's talk about what I believe he's saying. Negative music means anybody who is celebrating drug use, celebrating crime celebrating that stuff, which I have heard music do that. I've heard people say, yeah, yeah, shoot them up, blah, 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 kill them, kill them, do the drugs, whatever. I think all of this music should exist, okay? Because every shape and form and style of music is important, right? Because that's what art is. You cannot have up without down. You cannot have left without right. You cannot have positive without negative. To say I only want positive music is impossible because you cannot have positive music without negative music. Right? 
It, it, it's you can't do that. It does not exist. Imagine trying to tell somebody, "Hey, I only want you to make positive music." Well, it, you can't do that w without having some other side of the coin, because think of a car, right? There's intake and there's exhaust, right? You cannot have only intake and no exhaust. It's going to destroy the vehicle. When it comes to us as human beings, right? We have to breathe in and breathe out, right? Breathing in allows us to intake positive forms of what allows us to live. Oxygen, nitrogen, all those things. We need to breathe that in. Now, did you know that exhaling is actually a way of breathing out toxins and different chemicals and excess things that we don't need in our body? That's why we breathe out. You need to have both sides of the coin. Will Evans is talking, I believe, specifically about how the black community is being uh, disrespected by other cultures because of the music that other cultures hear. But I would challenge anybody who's watching this video, right? I would challenge you to go to any format of music, whether it's country or, you know, whether it's reggae or whatever. Every form of music has negative and positive, right? So hip hop is mostly a black culture form of music. Well, rock is mostly a white culture form of music. I can show you guys a list of songs of white dudes talking about killing people, murdering someone's mother, raping people, satanic worship. All of those things exist within hip, uh, within rock, excuse me. All of those negative things exist within rock, but no one complains. I don't hear anybody coming out saying, hey, we need to ban that. Because there's both sides to everything. And that's not to say that rock has never been protested against because it has back in the 1990s, especially when Marilyn Manson was, you know, coming about. He was a very, uh, people saw him to be a very negative figure in rock. Uh, however, you know, as time went on, people realized that music is not a correlation to murder. It's not a correlation to bad habits. It's not a correlation to behavior. That's not how it works. Okay? Art imitates life. Very rarely is it the other way around. So for somebody like Will Evans to say, you know, we as a culture should stop listening to people talking about killing, hitting licks, hoes, and all that nonsense, I will go as far to ask Will Evans, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? You want to hear about rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and I don't, I, I mean, what is it that you would like to hear and what should hip hop be saying? Remember, hip hop started as a form of protest art, okay? I'm talking about when it got popular, around the NWA era and all that stuff, right? People were protesting the treatment that they were getting from other white people in society, police, and all that stuff. People can consider that negative as well. When you look at what's happening now in our time, a lot of these people are only speaking about the experiences that they are accustomed to. A lot of people only know hitting licks and hoes and killing and stuff like that. That's what they grew up with. That's what they know. It's unfortunate, but th that's just the truth. So, by telling people who create hip-hop, I don't want to hear anything negative, you're basically saying, don't talk about your life. That's not fair. I can never tell my story without giving the negative and the positive. Because both sides happened to me. And both things created who I am today. And that is the same with hip-hop. So to say I don't want any negativity in hip hop is like saying I don't want hip hop. I don't want music. I don't want art. Can't do that. You got to have both sides. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this. I had fun making this and answering this question, finding this. Uh, and I hope you guys subscribe, like, and share as well. Once again, t-shirts are out. Make sure you visit the website, uh, uh, thesongtheory.com. Join the mailing list. Anyway, I love you guys. 
And I hope you all have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.